Yeah, I want to do an update review on my uh, Frank Beltrami uh, tactical switchblade. This thing. Um, this has got like the fake briarwood handles on it. And I'll tell you what, man, it's been on my boot the whole time. I made a little leather shield on there. You pull it back, boop, works fine. And I've been using it to work on cars with strip wire. Um, the black coating didn't come off easily, man. I've been been using it really hard, but you know they tell you this is a collector piece, and I'm like, really? You know, it's on my boot every day. Um, if I'm walking around mowing the lawn with it, it gets dirt on here. And sometimes what I'll do is uh, I don't even clean it off right away. Um, I'll hit it with some awesome cleaner hot water, blow it out with air, and hit it with some WD-40, and it's good to go. You know. Um, just rinse it off with hot water and that awesome cleaner and I know then I blow it off with air to get all the air out uh, the water out of here and just WD-40 it but I've uh, been using it about a year now it's been on my boot the whole damn time um, uh, as far as uh, actually I got another one up here that's not a switch blade that's a rebel rebel knife uh, see I make these little boot holders <laughs> Put some serrations in there. This one's been used a lot. You can see the rubble flags wearing off a little bit. It says rubble on it. But uh, that's another cool thing. You want to make those little holders because you can hang them on your boot. And you know, I like them on your boot because um, you you know where they're at. And you don't want them falling off. It's <laughs> another thing too. So fits in here nice and tight. And uh, you know, it's a solid little puppy. This one, so you close it and you press that the bolster down, right? You know that. Close it like that. And then you flip that up near your safety. And this one, you can see that. Probably can't. It sits right in here like that. See? See that? I don't know if you can see that really good. I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, you see it there. It's a little leather sheath I made for it, I don't know, over a year ago. And this one, I don't use too much. It's a uh, Sicilian switchblade. And I, it really, it's my uh, my kitchen utensil. So, it's a big one. I forgot how big it is. <laughs> it's got the pull, pull type on it. The pick lock type. you got to pull this out. And then, uh, closes like that, see. And you put the safety back on. This has got real bone, so that's not plastic. This one's a big puppy, though, man. But it always fires nice. And uh, whoever tells you these are just strictly collectible, I say bullshit, man. I'm not, I'm not a guy that just collects shit. So <laughs> I've been using these a while, though. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering what these wires are, I'm using this uh, microbe electrifier thing with uh, I'm taking a lot of vitamin C with it while I'm orally. I'm um, taking a lot of vitamin C pills while I'm doing this blood electrification thing. And the assumption is the vitamin C is going to get in the cells. Because it's a big time healer, strengthener, and detoxer, and all that shit. So, playing around with that. I always leave this on all the time with these TENS pads. So, but anyway, I like these damn knives. And uh, I don't use them like This one's just been in my kitchen a lot, though. This one, I admit that I don't take it out. Well, it's big, you know. I mean, you're going to fit that on your boot. It's going to be way the hell down there, right? Besides, you know, I guess you could put that on your boot. I didn't have to make a big sheath for it. <laughs> Cop would go like, what the fuck? <laughs> Even though it's legal in my state to walk around with this shit. You know, they'd probably say, what the fuck are you doing with this thing, right? A A G A Campoli. Campoline. Campoline. Me in Italy. Menaggio. It works though, man. It works good. So you just you gotta pull this up. Well, I'll do it like that. You see, you pull that up just a hair right there, right? I'm pulling the ring. I'm actually pulling that ring up out and then close it. And as long as you keep them oil, they work good. Safety works on it good. Nothing breaks on it. And this one, like I said, this one's always on my boot. I like this serrated edge one. It's a Frank Beltrami. It's not. This was only like 59 bucks. Um, nothing came loose on it. No pins came loose on it. Nothing. All the shits on here is good, man. Okay, so you see a little wear right there from putting it in and out, right? But see, you know, I consider this an AV, a everyday knife. I don't give a shit. You know, 
I'm, you know, it's cool. That's what's cool about it. And it's it's uh, it's small. You know, it's not not designed for splitting wood or something. <laughs> but you know, that's what you got axes for, right? So anyway, I figure, man, what the hell? It's good. It's good old life, man. I mean, so you know, it's like people put out these reviews. And then they say, hey, it looks like this in a tabletop review. I've been using it, man. I'm using it on my car. Oh, uh, yeah. So you got Cooter's Garage running out here, right? Redneck parking only and shit. <laughs> I've been using it. I've been using the crap out of it. And, uh, you know, I'm always doing something, man. I don't know what the hell. I mean, sometimes I'm scraping something. I'll pull that knife out, man. I don't, you know, I sharpened it a bunch of times. Just with the pulls through sharpener, nothing special. You know, I'll be working on that thing once in a while. Not too much on that, cause that thing's finally straightened out. Working on the El Camino, or maybe the bike, or some tools, or doing some projects in the house. So I always got that knife on my boot. That one's always there. And uh, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, about putting out some stuff with, uh, you know, Sons of Italy with the Confederate flag. Because <laughs> you know what? Italians fought against the barbarians of the north too, didn't they? Way back when, when Rome got invaded. So I see a lot of commonality between that and, uh, you know, when I see a Frank Beltrami switchblade, I always think of it as a solid Confederate symbol too. So, anyway, but that's it. it just sits up there in my boot, man. So, see, you see, it's like worn in there, how worn it is. It, it just, it never comes off. I can run around with this thing, it'll never fall out of there. And just put it, you know, it's works slick as snot. It fits in there. It's almost like a little click. It fits right in there perfect, man. The way they sewed that up. And I put that on there, I sewed this up with a speedy stitcher wall. It's like a real heavy duty uh, polyester cord. And uh, you know, this was uh, some leftover leather I had from some chaps or something. You know, I don't throw nothing away, or else you have to buy it, right? I've been using this sucker, man. This is on this is on my boot all the time, man. That's my go-to knife all the time. So when they tell you it's just a collectible, <laughs> eh, bullshit. Anyway, by the way, I know Boots the cat out here right now, but he was just here a little while over here. He's right here. He said, "Here's his home." You know, Boots the Confederate cat, one General Lee Drive, and uh, like you said, man. I'm a guy, you can see this stuff on my workbench, I'm a guy doing stuff all the time, man. I'm using that knife all the time. I'm not using it for, like, little bullshit. I'm using it for all kinds of shit. It's fine. I know not to overdo it because it is not a freaking axe or anything like that, but I use it as a knife all the time, man. All the time. So that's been going on for whoever I got it. It's been about a year or so, and it's been, it's been on my boot every freaking day. So who tells you, whoever tells you these things, these knives are... Or strictly uh, collectors. Eh, bullshit. Now, I'd probably take this one around, but it's a little, you know what? The one disadvantage to this one I don't like, though, is this. Not that it's too big. It don't have the serrated edge. That's the one thing. Because this thing, often what I do, the serrated edge is excellent for cutting those um, zip ties. You got to cut them things. It's very hard to cut them with a straight blade. And the other thing is, it's very good for wire stripping, and also sometimes for scraping. Sometimes this won't scrape as good as that. And I'm surprised this coating on this blade has held up that freaking good. I thought I would have scratched it a million times over already. But you know what you can do? Actually, um, I got some leftover um, two-part epoxy for gun paint. If you ever scratch the crap out of this blade up and you want to make it black. Just chemically clean it with uh, starting fluid, like that stuff right there. And just give it a spritz of that two-part epoxy, and that's a uh, it, it'll it's made for uh, holding up to guns, and uh, it'll stay on there a while. Because I fixed uh, I fixed a scratch in, in my K bar. I didn't like the way it looked, so not that it was affecting anything. The paint on the K bar came off. That's how I fixed it. Some of that two-part epoxy gun paint. That's why you don't throw nothing away, man. Keep that shit, because you always use it. <laughs>